I did pick the Patriots to win it all this year. I'm seeing a down to the wire battle tonight that won't remotely resemble what happened last Thanksgiving night, which was 49 to 19 Patriots, which was the butt fumble game that we just referred to, which was 0 0 after a quarter, and all of a sudden the Jets, to your point, self destructed in the second quarter and gave up 35 points just in the second quarter alone. In that game, Tom Brady completed passes to Wes Welker, Aaron Hernandez, Brandon Lloyd, Shane Vereen, Danny Woodhead. I just gave you five players who will not be in the lineup for Tom Brady tonight. So he's down to one last trusted receiver. Julian Edelman, a college quarterback drafted in the seventh round who is nothing more to me than a slot receiver. They took Aaron Dobson this year in the second round. He's fighting a hamstring pull. That little Josh Boyce kid from TCU they took in the fourth round. He looked lost at Buffalo last Sunday. I don't know, Matthew Slater has played a little receiver in the past for them, but he's nothing but a special teams player who can run fly patterns. Will they try him tonight? I don't know. So to me, this is going to resemble much more closely what, what happened with the Jets in Tampa. The Jets obviously stole it at the end of the game. Thanks to, what was his name, Levante David had this ridiculous penalty at the end of the game hitting Geno out of bounds, and they stole that game 18 to 17. I think it's going to be pretty close to that kind of a score. And I'm going to do this one more time to this poor kid named Ken Burrell Tompkins, oh, Stephen A. I'm going to do it one more time. Ken Burrell, tonight has to be your night. I don't want to heap more pressure on you than you deserve as an undrafted free agent rookie. But Ken Burrell, tonight is the night that you have a coming out party and start to resemble the big, strong, very athletic and fast wide receiver that I saw in the preseason games. Tonight, Ken Burrell, is your night. I still can't believe this spread has only fallen from 12 and a half to 11 and a half. But Stephen A, in the end, I got to stick with my Patriots to pull it out just the way they did at Buffalo, 23 to 21, except I'll make this score Patriots 20, Jets 17. I'm, Skip, I'm going to go 17, 13, New England. Obviously, you, you're Tom Brady, you're devoid of the weapons that you're accustomed to having. We all know that, especially with Amendola out. Um, I think Ridley's going to try to make amends, especially with Vereen out. I think Ridley's going to try to make amends for, you know, fumbling the ball last week. We'll see how he performs. I don't think that he wants to find himself in Bill Belichick's doghouse for the rest of the season. I expect him to step up. I know what the Jets' defense could do, particularly their front seven. Um, this kid, Richardson, I like him a lot. Muhammad Wilkinson, I like him a lot. We'll see what they do with Copels and Harris and all of those boys. And I think Milliner, uh, if, if there's ever a time when he's in danger of getting exposed, this ain't Josh Freeman throwing the football. This this is Tom Brady. And so uh, I look at it from that standpoint. San Antonio, uh, by the way, uh, Antonio Cromartie is going to have to play better than he did in week one as well. But with that being said, it really, really comes down again to the Jets offense. We're talking about a New England Patriots squad that was number one in turnover differential last year, plus 25. These boys bend, but they don't necessarily break. More importantly, they make you break by forcing you to turn the ball over. And so if they were able to do that with a myriad of, of veteran quarterbacks last season, I anticipate that they'll be able to do that against a rookie in Geno Smith, uh, who I expect, to be honest with you, to have a solid game. And we'll see where he goes from there. I think he likes the big stage. It's Thursday night. He's going up against Tom Brady. I think he's going to have some good moments. But I also think he's going to struggle a little bit from time to time as well because they've got enough veterans on the defensive side of the ball that's going to force him and try to rattle him a little bit. And he's got that bravado and that swag about him where he's going to accept the challenge and try to make things happen. And I'm not sure it's going to work in his favor. Not to mention the fact whether it's Bilal Powell or Chris Ivory. I haven't seen, I didn't see much out of that Jets running game last Saturday. San Antonio Holmes just coming back after not playing the entire preseason. We got to see if he's going to get his bearings under him. We don't know about Stephen Hill or Jeremy Curley. Cumberland took a shot, had to leave the game. We don't know whether he's going to be available tonight. So all those things being considered, I think the Jets offense, I anticipate they'll struggle, but their defense will keep them in the game. And as a result, instead of being able to win the game with a field goal, Geno Smith 
will have the ball late and in position to win the game, but it would require a touchdown. And I don't think the Jets get into the end zone against this opportunistic defense that is the New England Patriots, and I think they hold on for a 17-13 victory. Okay, well, we're pretty much on the same page, unlike Brady and his yeah. young receivers, <laughs> but <Dang. yes. laughs> I think Geno's going to have a hard time tonight. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think the great Tom Brady's going to struggle some tonight because he usually does against Rex's defensive schemes that are always creative, imaginative, clever. He's always mixing it up against Brady, making him work for his points. What, is he going to throw it to himself tonight? I, I don't know. I mean, can Ridley carry the load? Because you yourself, you watched the Jets. You went to the game the other day. I watched some on TV. But that defensive front's pretty good. I don't know that Ridley can yes, do what Shane Vereen did, which is get 100 yards against Buffalo. I don't know. So they're going to have a hard time getting it in the end zone on both sides. So I got low scoring.